All right, so now I have uh, some more resources uh, for my students. I had some videos for them, some more demos. I have another video here on connectivism, and I've actually posted this video into Teams. So uh, I am going to go back into the Teams area now so that you can see that. See where I've got that tucked away. So if you go to our general team, uh, I showed you where the PowerPoint slides were there. And if I go into more slides, uh, more tabs, you'll see that I have, um, I had a PowerPoint or a YouTube slide here, a YouTube tab here somewhere, connectivism, there we go. So I've got the video right here in Teams. So you can go back and rewatch it anytime you want because it's in our class Teams but I can also play it directly here and you guys can see the video. And then we can move on with the class. So everyone has access to it. They can rewatch it at their own pace. And I've got a resource at hand. I don't have to go searching all around my computer for it because I gathered it together in teams beforehand, just like I would for an online class. There are monitors on the side. I can't see them at the moment. Uh, it looks like they are off at the moment, but I could turn them on. I have a controller here in front of me on the lectern, so I can turn them on. Uh, and it's on the main screen as well. And it should also be, uh, for Carolyn, for you at home, it should be appearing on your team screen because I'm sharing my screen. And for everyone who's brought a laptop to the lecture theater, you should be seeing it on your screens as well. So, um, Lots of ways that everyone can access the content, even though we're all spread apart and you can see what's going on clearly, even though we're here in a big room. All right, so I showed you how to uh, access this video through, uh, through Teams. I got some more resources here in this. And then I had a breakout activity set up for everybody. So what I'm gonna do, I don't know if I put this link into um, into Teams yet. So I'm just gonna escape from here. I'm gonna get um, this link and I'm gonna make sure that I've got it in Teams. And this is being captured in the video how I'm adding this for anybody who's wondering. So I'm gonna go back to my team. I'm gonna add a new tab up here and I'm gonna just click on website. And I'm going to call this Padlet Activity. I'm going to paste the URL in here. And I will save this. So now I've got a new activity showing up in Teams. Everyone should be able to see this Padlet wall here now. I have it set up so that anybody with the link can add to the wall. I'll ask that you don't because this is a live one I have set up for a class next month. Um, so what I would do in this case is get everybody to work in small groups. And they, as a small group, each group would add their responses to this wall. So in this case, I'm going to start up my camera again on my phone here now. So in this case, I've got the Padlet activity here for everybody. So everybody can see this same Padlet activity on their screens. And I'm gonna ask Lynn and Robin to work together as a small group. So they could turn around here without moving from their seats. They could open up the Padlet wall on their laptops. They can have a small discussion in their little area here now without getting too loud. And they could put their responses on here. When they're done, with their responses, then we could bring them up on the screen and we can view these responses and discuss them as a whole class. And everyone at home can, can view them and respond as well. All right, so the next thing that I had in here, I'm gonna come back into my slides, present them again.
All right, so the next thing I had here, that is uh, some more stuff that was on the Padlet wall that I want my students to work on throughout the rest of the week. So they're going to continue working in the same small groups. And what I can do is set up a channel for them in Teams, a, a separate private channel, and add them to it. So I could have Group A, Group B, Group C, whatever I want to call them. They can go in, set up their own meetings uh, from home, however they want to meet and discuss. And they can continue on these activities here and put their responses on the Padlet board. We can bring this Padlet up again next class. We can discuss the responses as a whole group. Or we could get someone from each group to act as a reporter and to, uh, to discuss the responses that they'd put on there and share them with the class. So we're using the same resource both during class and afterwards. It's accessible through Teams, so they don't need to go hunting for links. Could also post that into um, into Moodle for them in a discussion form if they want to access the link.